This tutorial will explore a new feature, the Scan Editor, found with version 2.2 and higher of the chat software. The chat software is found on the Sotelo NovaChat and ChatFusion devices. The Scan Editor is located within the chat software on the devices. There may be times when the standard scan pattern may not be the optimal set for the client. This Scan Editor feature enables you to create custom scan patterns and save them for a user. I will walk through a couple examples where custom scanning may be beneficial. Custom scanning patterns can be applied to a single page or an entire vocabulary. The need to create custom scan patterns will vary by vocabulary organization and client needs. To create custom scanning patterns, I will access the scan editor within the vocabulary program. For this demonstration, I will be using WordPower 48 with a single switch block scanning and auditory prompts set up in the settings. Customizing the scan will enable us to create more meaningful auditory prompts on the Groups page. Let's confirm the settings are set for this example. Then I will set up the custom scan pattern using the scan editor. Settings first. Tap Menu, Settings, Input, Scanning. Ensure that Enable Scanning is checked. Tap Patterns, Mode, and Block. Vertical and horizontal blocks are set to 2x2, two two, creating two vertical blocks and two horizontal blocks. It is defaulted to switch to row column within the block. Tap OK. Tap Go Back. Now I will look at the auditory prompts. Tap Auditory Prompt, Enable Auditory, and turn off the scanning beep. Tap Button Prompt, and select Label for the Auditory Prompt. We'll arrow back to the vocabulary, and we'll tap the Groups page. For this demonstration, I am going to create a custom scan for the Groups page. The Groups page has already been edited and rearranged to allow alphabetically ordered blocks and an other block. To create a custom scan, I need to access the scan editor through that page. Tap Menu and Edit Mode. Tap Pages. Scroll to the page we wish to customize the scan on, which will be our Groups page. Tap Groups, and we see Scan Editor is one of our options. Tap Scan Editor. Our option appears to select all pages, cancel, or just this page. I am only customizing this page, so I select just this page. A preview of the page appears and I am able to see what areas I am creating the custom scan for. I originally set up the scanning pattern to be block in our settings. In this example, I will create subgroups automatically to allow the software to set up the blocks following the system settings. I will create meaningful new labels for the blocks. Four groups are created. Each group can be renamed to create a meaningful label, which will be the auditory prompt. Tap Group 1. Tap Edit Name and Scan Mode. Type A to G. Tap Save. Tap Group 2, tap Edit Name and Scan Mode, type H to N, and Save. Tap Group 3, tap Edit Name and Scan Mode, type P to W, and Save. Group 4, Edit Name, Type Other, Tap Save, Tap Save again, arrow back to the vocabulary, Tap Menu, and Edit Mode to exit Edit. Let's take a look at how the scan pattern and auditory prompts work. Hman, Group 1, Group 2. 
Group 3. Money. Music. Group 1. The custom scan can also be set to scan the initial blocks with auditory prompts and then continue the block scan and auditory prompts within the block. To do this, I will create all subgroups. I am continuing to use WordPower 48, one switch, a block scan, and auditory prompts set to label. Now I need to access the scan editor. For this example, I will create all automatic subgroups. The system will create the top level groups and automatically create the subgroups with the block pattern. Again, I will create meaningful new labels for the blocks in both the top group and the subgroup. And when I edit the name and scan, I will not change the scan pattern, leaving it set to block. Tap Group 1. Tap Edit Name and Scan Mode. Type A to G. The blocks are set to the same pattern we created in Settings. Tap Save. Now we can set up the first subgroup. Tap Group 1. Type Animals, Body, Clothes, Tap Group 2, Appliance, Art, Containers, Drinks, and we would continue to edit the rest of the page. I have completed the information in all the groups. Let's take a look at the page completed. A to G. H to N. P to W. Other. Eight animals body clothes. Appliance art container drinks. Another example of a page where you might want to create a custom scan for one page that is different than all the others is a keyboard. A keyboard is set up in a separate layout than the rest of the vocabulary file and therefore you would probably want a different scan pattern. I will use the WordPower 60 keyboard, continuing with one switch setup, block scan, and auditory prompts on. As I view the keyboard, I visualize the scan areas. I will break the keyboard page into four groups the QWERTY letters, the numbers, word prediction, and function keys. I will also create an option order for the speech display bar. Tap Menu, Edit Mode, Pages, scroll to the page we wish to customize the scan, which will be the keyboard QWERTY. Select Scan Editor. For this keyboard example, I want just this page. I will add the groups manually. Add subgroup four times. I need to define the buttons associated with each group. I can tap each button or drag across the group. Tapping toggles the button inclusion on or off. Group 1 will be the letters. Then edit the name of the group. Group 2 will be the word prediction boxes. Group 3, the numbers. Group 4, the function keys. Tap Save. Arrow back to the vocabulary. Tap Menu. Edit Mode to toggle out of edit. Let's look at the scan we set up. QWERTY Word prediction. Numbers. Functions. 
QWERTY. I can add the SDB to the scan and change the order of the scan by moving the items up or down. Tap Menu, Edit Mode, Pages, scroll to KB QWERTY, tap Scan Editor, Decide when you want the STB to scan and move it up or down in the list. Tap Save, arrow back to the vocabulary, and exit edit mode. Let's take a look at the scan. Keyboard. Word prediction. If I did not want the SDB to scan at all, I could turn it off Speech in settings and remove it from the custom scan. Functions. If you were to create a new vocabulary or rearrange a current file that would lend itself to a custom scan pattern, you might decide to create a custom scan pattern and apply it to all pages. I will continue this demo using WordPower 48, one switch, leaving it on block pattern, from last demo and turning off the auditory prompt. I have not made changes to this file, nor am I making a recommendation to use this scanning pattern with this file. I am creating the scan pattern here for demonstration purposes so that you can see the capabilities with the scan editor. First I will create a custom scan on just one page. After I create the scan, I can decide to apply it to all pages. Tap Menu, Edit Mode, Pages. I'll start with the WordPower home page, tap Scan Editor, and we'll still select just this page. I'll create a pattern to scan the columns on this page. I have eight columns, so I create eight groups by tapping Add Subgroup eight times. Then I will define each group by selecting the column associated with each. I am defining the groups in columns. I initially started with just this page, but I can still apply it to the entire vocabulary. Tap Menu, and two options come up. Set as default and delete scan pattern and quit. I will select set as default, select yes, and save. Arrow back to the vocabulary, tap menu, and exit edit mode. Let's try it out. I. Have it. I will go back in the file and delete scan pattern and start over with option 2 to apply to all pages. Tap Menu, Edit Mode, Pages, tap WordPower Homepage, and Scan Editor. Tap Menu, Delete Scan Pattern, and Quit. Tap Yes. Now to set up to apply to all pages from the start, we can tap WordPower 48, Home Page, Scan Editor, and All Pages. I will demonstrate the same pattern creation, add subgroup eight times, and then define them by column. Tap Save, and try it out. Good. 
idea. A few other notes about custom scan files. The custom scan patterns will follow the page. If you were to duplicate the page for another purpose, such as importing to another file, the scanning pattern would stay with that page. While you cannot create or edit custom scans with the chat editor, the scan pattern will stay within the file when you back it up. I could back up my files to the chat editor and then transfer them to another device or email the file to someone else. The custom scan patterns would travel with the page or file. For more information about other alternative access options and features offered with Sotilla devices and chat software, please visit these alternative access tutorials. Thank you for joining us. For more information, please visit us at Sotillo.com. You can keep up with Sotillo by signing up for our newsletter. We hope you will join us on social media and other tutorials.